now i'm going to discuss a very fundamental question and this question was asked one of the follower of chemistry affinity which has more hydrogen bonding ethanol or methanol so now number of hydrogen bonding is forming depends on number of lone pairs present on the oxygen atom now look into this molecule this is a methanol molecule i have added water into methanol so this oxygen has two lone pairs so now these two lone pairs can make hydrogen bond with the two water molecules similarly look into the structure of water molecule this oxygen has two lone pairs so now it will make two hydrogen bond with the two methanol molecules so now ethanol also oxygen has two lone pairs so that means it will can make two hydrogen bonding with the two ethanol molecules or two water molecules so that means number of hydrogen bonding will be same for ethanol and methanol but if we check the boiling point we can see ethanol has a higher boiling point than methanol ethanol boiling point is close to 78 degrees celsius and methanol is around 65 or 64 degrees celsius the reason is that van der waal force or i can say london dispersion force for ethanol it has carbon carbon bonds and it has total five carbon hydro hydrogen bonds but for methanol there is no carbon carbon bonds but only three carbon hydrogen bonds so more number of carbon carbon bonds and carbon hydrogen bond means more number of london dispersion force means london dispersion force is stronger in ethanol than methanol so here london dispersion force is playing an important role for boiling point so since the london dispersion force is more in the ethanol so ethanol has a higher boiling point than methanol i hope you understand the explanation if you have any further queries you can send a message in the comment section thank you for watching it